Dear Mr. Whitmire, Obviously, the internet is in hysterics over what little information is out there regarding your displacement from the role of Kermit the Frog. Me? I'm curious. At this point, what do you desire? Based on my own speculation of the actual circumstances, I wonder. Even though leaving the role was not your choice, are you burnt out and disillusioned? Do you feel taking an indefinite break from a Muppets you possibly... No longer recognize? Maybe the only option for your peace of mind? Or, if given the circumstances, would you jump back into the work and continue pushing for the tone and personality you know to be appropriate for these sacred characters? Even if you can't win every battle? I'm sure you're aware, if you say the word, if you even twitch an eye indicating such, the majority of Muppet fans casual to rabid, will let Disney know that we simply refuse to accept a Kermit who is not Whitmire. But if you prefer, or feel the only option is to go your own way and find a new path for your career, a new outlet for your skill and talent, then we will, at least we should, support that and ensure your success in the endeavor by remaining your audience. In any case, for you to have been removed from the role willed to you by Jim Henson on anyone's authority but your own is an affront to the legacy of Jim and all the talented souls who helped create his beautiful worlds and wonderful characters. It's an insult to everyone who has ever worked on the Sensational Muppets, worked with the Celebrational Muppets, or loved the Inspirational Muppets. Speaking for myself, Miles Marcus, our producer, Peter Cancilla, and all the vaudeville puppets, you have our best wishes and full support, Steve. See you soon.